I suppose a lot of my, my role models um, would have came from the sporting world um, and none more so than I suppose within my own club and my own county and um, one of the biggest uh, sources of role, female role models for me growing up would have been the Bannon McCarvey and Walsh for ladies football teams that would have started in the 80s and 90s. They were huge female role models which, which is hugely important I suppose maybe in a time when there were uh, probably a lot more male role models available um, in the media and so on back then so I would have found definitely those to be a huge source of inspiration. The female I suppose that's inspired me the most would be Maggie Farley. I suppose she's been officiating at a high level for quite some time and I also know that she's the only female to have refereed a men's game. It's actually really funny, probably my main role model is actually here today, that's Breach Sack. <laughs> so I suppose like she's loads of all Ireland's one with Cork and in particular she'd be one of my main inspirations. A woman who's probably inspired me in general has been my mother. Um, she's probably the most resilient person I know um, and I think you know, she, she always has a, a brilliant work ethic but most importantly I think she has a fabulous balance and um, she never gets too high with the highs and never gets too low with the lows and I think you know to have that balance is very important in life. Well, my inspiration would be my grandmother. She was pivotal in the implementation of a football pitch in my local parish. The local pitch was actually named after her so it's Nan Sands playing field so I would like to be as well known and as good in my role that she was in her role. In general I would have to say Sonia O'Sullivan. As I was growing up I always admire Sonia. Um, she's the fantastic ambassador for Ireland and for females in sport um, and she also supports us in our own organisation. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting her on an Ireland uh, final day. You probably want me to say somebody famous and you know somebody in the limelight but really uh, it's the people around me that make me get up and do what I do and support me and challenge me. The girls within my club um, really inspire me. Well the female that would inspire me in general and why would be Sue Ramsbottom. Um, she's an absolutely incredible player, played for Leash. Um, I remember playing against her when I played for Mayo. Um, I was 15 years of age and it was a National League game down in Bannerope. Um, an absolute inspiration uh, in terms of her, I suppose what she does on and off the field. Uh, she's coaching herself now as well. Um, and from my point of view, um, I saw an incredible, I suppose, amount of skill set from her that day as a very young 15 year old. It's really hard to pick one particular female. I think in general my, uh, my own was common intermediate uh, lady football team inspired me every day. Um, the women on that team are, are so inspirational. They um, are motivated, they're committed, they're hardworking, um, they're intelligent, they're so funny, um, they really have everything. So I suppose they inspire me on a daily basis. The Ladies Football Association, it really is such a, a proactive and a forward-thinking and innovative association and it's acknowledging an, uh, International Women's Day goes right along with, with, with the foundation of our sport. Maybe we just need to show at the moment recognition um, to people who aren't aware of women who are pivotal in all roles even though they might not get the exposure that men would. The culture of women in business, women in sport at the moment um, and I suppose you know initiatives like the 2020 campaign um, it's literally like every day is, is International Women's Day at the moment and you know someone who is playing a high elite sport is also working full time and you know you know has family has family commitments as well so um, I think there's a massive multitask role that women um, are carry out in today's uh, society and I suppose it's lovely that there's one day specifically to champion that.